Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. Welcome to my review for the 2022 horror anthology sequel, VHS 99. Now, uh, as is tradition with a horror anthology film, there's lots of different directors, lots of different actors, and I'd be here all day if I listed them. Um, so we'll get straight into the review. Now, what are my thoughts and the history on the VHS franchise? Well, generally speaking, um, I thought the first two VHS films were outstanding. The second one in particular, but I really do enjoy the first one as well. Um, I thought they kind of really reinvigorated the horror anthology films at the time. They kind of really injected a lot of energy back into the genre. Um, and it has done a few films since the second one. We got VHS Viral, which I haven't actually seen VHS Viral. That's the only one I haven't seen. Then we got, was it VHS 94 last year? Which was okay, but a little bit disappointing. And now we've got VH9, VHS 99. And I, I think that's all the ones that they've done. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. So I'm always interested in checking out the VHS films because I do think the first two are very, very strong. And I'm always hopeful that um, the franchise can get back to at least as good as the first one. I think it's always going to struggle to compete with the strength of the second one. But I have to say, with this one, I don't think they were a million miles away. I think, while I think the first story and arguably the last story kind of bookend the movie um, in a fairly weak manner, I think the three stories in the middle stood out and I thought were pretty good. So I'll, st I'll speak briefly about each of the stories, um, but obviously I won't give spoilers where the first story is around a group and just to say as well there's there's not really a wraparound story here not one that you could really gleam it's just kind of someone searching through like a vhs tape and then it kind of um comes off that at some point in the film and then turns its itself into its own story so yeah there's not really a wraparound story here that I, you can really you know not a strong one anyway that you can grasp onto so right the first story is around a group of teenagers, um, not very likeable teenagers, it has to be said, who decide to explore the gravesite of a dead band. So there was uh, a dead girl, a girl band that played at this site a number of years previously, in 96, I think it is, and there was some kind of bizarre accident where they kind of died on stage. So they decide to go and explore this kind of gravesite uh, of where they died. And while there, they kind of desecrate the scene, um, and guess what? It all goes, you know, pretty scary from there. Uh, I, I, while I didn't really hate this story or anything, I thought it was weak because, number one, the characters I didn't enjoy, these teenagers, most of them were particularly horrible people and I couldn't wait for them to get killed. And it was very predictable. You kind of knew where it was going, so it didn't really offer up any surprises. Not terrible, like I say, but a fairly weak start to the movie, I think. Um, the second story I thought was really good, really freaking. It played with a lot of people's fears. It, it focused on a girl who was really keen to join a sorority. Now, I don't really know much about these things because I'm from the UK. We don't really have them in the UK, but I know they're big in the US. Uh, and it's like being, you know part of this girl gang whatever you want to call it uh, and she's a bit of an outsider she's really desperate to join this sorority um but the what she has to do to get in basically is to spend the night in a coffin uh, and they play a horrible prank on her they put her in this coffin they put horrible things in the coffin with her uh, and they tell her this horrible story beforehand of someone else that did this years previously and kind of was buried alive in this coffin um and it, it really escalates from there. Now, without spoiling it, I thought this was really good because it plays with claustrophobia, it plays with arachnophobia. Um, and, I mean, there's lots of different fears that it plays around with, and I thought it was a very, very effective story and arguably my favourite one of the film. Um, now, the, the, the third story I thought was okay but kind of lost its way by the end. It, it, it was about this children's game show called Ozzy's Dungeon, I think it was called. And in this game show, there's a number of kids try and compete in this game show, win prizes, and this one particular girl seriously injures herself in this game show. And then years later, her family 
want to take revenge on the game show host for um, kind of taking their daughter's future away from them by seriously injuring her. And it takes a very weird twist by the end. Uh, so a good idea, this one. I thought it was fairly effective. I just thought, like I say, it got a bit too weird by the end of the story, but I did quite like it. The fourth story, while I thought was good, I also thought it shared a lot of similarities to the second story, the first VHS film. I think it was the second story. It might have even been the first story. You know that woman who's like the demon, who then boys take to that hotel room and abuse, and she turns out to be this demon sort of thing? Um, or whatever she was, <laughs> some kind of winged monster. This one is a similar concept. There's a group of teenagers like pulling pranks, filming girls, and they've got this neighbour who's really beautiful, and they're trying to perv on her. In fact, they actually pull an American pie, uh, and they get the younger brother to kind of go and install like spyware on her computer so that they can watch her on her own computer screen. When she realises what's going on, they seriously regret their actions, put it that way. That's all I want to say on that one. So, yeah, it, I thought it shared similarities to that VHS 1 film, that story in that one, but I thought it was pretty good, uh, fairly decent, fairly fairly effective, I suppose. Um, and the last story I thought could have been really good, and it's about this cult um, that are kind of doing this sacrifice um, in order to kind of rise this demon up from pits of hell sort of thing um but it all kind of goes pear-shaped and two of the cult members kind of get sucked into this dimension this evil hellish dimension and they've got to try and get back out of it sounds pretty cool doesn't it and it is i mean there's loads of great effects some really imaginative makeup effects in this one and there are some fairly scary moments but it's, it's laced with a layer of humour that tonally I didn't... I'd, number one, I didn't think it fit the rest of the movie. And number two, I don't necessarily think it fit this story. Um, so I think tonally the humour let this one down. But the rest of it, I thought, with concept was excellent. Some great effects and a great idea. I just don't necessarily think it worked um, as well as it could have done. So we've got five stories there, no stinkers, as far as I'm concerned anyway, and I watch a lot of anthology films. I thought it's a little bit of a return to form for the VHS franchise. It's not up to the strength of the first two films, but I think it's easily the third best VHS film um, out there. So I'm going to be fairly generous, and I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Um, I do feel it's been slightly generous, but I have to say I was really quite ent entertained throughout all these five stories. I thought the production values were great. I thought the performances were great. It felt in keeping with the first two VHS films, and it didn't feel like it was trying too hard. There were some imaginative, creative ideas thrown in there, and some genuinely scary moments as well, especially in the second story where she, get, where she gets buried alive. Um, so yeah, that's my review for VHS 99. Check it out if you like the VHS films. Check it out if you like anthology films. There's some fairly, fairly effective stories on display here. So I hope you enjoy this review. Thanks for watching. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.